So welcome back to Victorian London. This is Assassin's Creed Syndicate and some early gameplay for you guys to watch. I played it in London uh, the other week and this is me in a horse and carriage just hitting everything. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm like a crazy lunatic. We're back with Eevee. Uh, this starts from uh, sequence 7. Uh, also done two videos already. So if you guys haven't seen those already, links and stuff in the description. Go check those out. Uh, but for now, we're doing this mission uh, to collect 200 metal components and do an air assassination on a guard on a zip line, which is like an optional optional thingy. Uh, the horse and carriage is fun to use, but it's a little bit of a handful. It's it's hard to explain what it, what it feels like. It feels like a really old-fashioned muscle car with like a massive engine in it. It just feels weird. Like, it's really hard to like... It just doesn't corner very well. It's hard to brake for obvious reasons because it's a horse. But yeah, it, it still feels fun. It's a good way to get around. It's definitely the fastest way to get around. Even though you're like an assassin with like a zip line thingy. Right, so there's a sniper over there. Or well, a guy with a gun. I'm not sure he's actually a sniper. Uh, this is the Eevee. Eevee's more of like a sort of stealthy, typical assassin. Where Jacob's a bit more like a brute. Uses his fist a lot more. Uh, I've done some gameplay on Jacob already. So again, links and stuff in the description. And first I was trying to take this guy out. Or lady. Is it a lady? It might actually be a lady. On a roof. Victoria and London. That's not very... That's not... That, was nothing, that would never happen. So, I think that's a woman. I'm watching like a, like a really small screen. So I can't see as much as what you guys are seeing. Uh, right. So there's two guys below. And it says duck and air assassination. And we've done it. On the zip line. The zip lines are cool. For sure. They just make the it's so much more easier to move around. than it's pretty sweet. I got stabbed in the ass, and the police have seen us, and they're, they're blowing their whistles. So combat is um, definitely different in this game. It's, it's harder to work out when to counter and when to like perhaps back off. As you can tell, I'm like, oh shit, I'm, I'm dying right now. So I sort of back off a little bit. The police are pretty tough. I don't know why they're so tough, but they take a few hits. You can shoot them twice, and I think they die. But you think being shot once would probably kill them. I had to use some medicine there to try and heal myself back up because I got hit a few many a few times. And then this. Oh I mean the animations weren't perfect, but it looks so good. Stab in the face! Using the cane as well. So that's the chest done. We have a hundred pieces. Nice. But it's not over yet. The mission's not done yet. It's not done at all. But I see those guys down there. I've used the Eagle Vision. You see they're level two. Which means like they're not that high level. They do go up a lot higher than that, which actually means like how good those guys are in terms of like fighting skill and stuff. We say I'll keep an eye on because it's very very important. I get a lot harder later on. Use my frying knives to the head, and then I, look at that, a proper assassin. Oh, got a frying knife back as well. I got this thing where you automatically like loot, so you can just like it just does it automatically, which is very useful. Quick little escape. There's two more guys left who are coming back to like the. Uh, original scene so no doubt they're probably going to see what's happened oh what the hell he, i swear he got hit in the head and he still survived that i don't quite know how oh <laughs> throw knives are awesome i love throw throw knives are so good so so good right so we're gonna loot the rest of this chest which now means we have 200 pieces collected done so that's good so let's continue got some chemicals there as well and a bit of money some pounds, some sterling pounds. Went the wrong way again. The grabbing hook does take a little bit of time to used to. And I played it for like a couple of hours and still wasn't 100% on it. But I reckon it's just a little bit of experience. It's it's a different for like an Assassin's Creed game to have that sort of like automatic sort of hook system. And um, it can be a little bit tricky, but like look at the environment, like the houses, the detail, the wood, the color, the smoke, it just all comes together. And that, that view, look, Big Ben up there as well. It's just like, oh my God. I'm not sure if I'm just biased because I obviously live quite near to London. I can sort of, I can sort of recognise elements, and I'm like, oh my god, that's awesome. I didn't want to cut there because uh, basically, as a cutscene now, I can't show you it. It's too early for cutscenes anyway. But if you guys want to see like a sort of full walkthrough in this game, let me know. Let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, and I'll uh, get like a general gist of what you guys want to see or not. It's quite a long game normally. It does take a lot of time for me to like complete them. I think I've done Unity. And Black Flag on the channel. So if you guys want to see those as well, feel free to watch them. Take care. There's a gang out looking for you. Ugh, not at all. Just one gleek little laddie following me. You certain? Certain as can be. What I'm going to do now is protect this lady here. 
from any harm and she gets attacked a few times. So what we're gonna do now is try and save her. And fingers crossed things are go okay. There he is. The rascal. I'm gonna follow him first, sorry. The guy in the black hat. Oh, that's the okay. That's the stalker. That's the stalker that's fighting the woman. Okay, now I'm making sense of it again. I played a game for a. I think I filmed this like two weeks ago, three weeks ago. I still forgot some elements of it. Um, he's got to tell that female. So hence the green. So it's one of these sort of follow things. I don't mind these too much. Depends how they've done. Sometimes they can be like, really interesting. She, he's obviously a stalker <laughs> of some sort. What's the, what does he want? Guess we never know. But I think this is one of the most exciting Assassin's Creed games for a while. I didn't see any sort of clear bugs or anything either. It felt like it was running pretty smooth. This is on PS4. I don't really notice anything like that crazy. He's, he's, a, he's a weird perv, isn't he? Weirdo. Where's he going to next? Oh, I, just, I made a mistake there. I sort of jumped. I tried to jump on that rope. And it just, I missed it completely. So now we're sort of lagging behind a little bit. So I'm trying to jump on that rope. See it? Do it. Oh, cutscene. Fair enough. Been saved by the cutscene. You damn pillock. Uh, sorry, but that woman's from an important gang. Gang? What gang's that? I think it's in a train. Sounds like the bastards would be okay, lot. Alert the lads on the rooftops. We'll take her out. Right, so there's now snipers about. I'm gonna try and assassinate all the snipers. I don't think I do that in the end because I screw up one of them, I think. But yeah, there's snipers everywhere. There's like six snipers. You gotta try and take out before they shoot the pure, the, the poor young lady. Stab! Is that an assassination? Probably not, actually. It was like a slight air assassination. It was like, I sort of jumped a little bit. <laughs> anyway, I think I found that already. I don't really tend to bother with like, the optional stuff. I do if I can, but I don't really think about it too much. Yeah, I, I felt. Oh, there we go. That's where I found it. Uh, so, try, still trying to defend her. There's another one up there. Let's see if we can try and jump on him. Jump! Oh, let's get close. Let's get a little bit. There we go. They're quite slow shooters. They just shoot like straight away. Something they sort of hesitate. Hello. <laughs> this is a bit awkward. How you guys doing? <laughs> Please don't shoot me. Okay, look at the, the detail on the brick and the roofs and the... It looks like a sort of industrial rundown sort of area. Stab! <laughs> oh, this stand there, I love it. It's like, oh! In the neck. Oh, hidden blade, of course. Oh, he's seen me again, look at him. <laughs> oh, just sliced his neck. <laughs> she has no idea. Dangerous. There might be an ambush in the station. Can he be daft? There we go. I mean, this game is still like early, early alpha, I think. So it's not actually like the full game, of course. So, so there'll be lots of stuff improved on it. So now we're going to the train station. Again, we need to try and keep us safe from the oncoming attack, the ambush. So apparently, I've got to get to there. I think a little bit lost, but I eventually find the entrance. <laughs> I mean, again, like the glass, you can see straight through underneath. It looks really, really good. Look at that industry, like, in the background. The smoke coming out. Look at it. It's crazy. I mean, I was a little bit, like, I, I, I didn't mind Unity too much, but I just found, like, the game to be a tiny bit boring. I'm just hoping this, with the twins, is, like, really decent characters. I hope it just keeps that sort of rhythm, and I want to keep playing it. I want to know what happens in the story. I don't know until I play the full game, but so far from what I played, I'm fairly excited for it. Definitely. It's like in my sort of top five full games, if that makes any sense. Right, destination is above. Train station is right here. And there's the train, a steam train. Steam powered. Should we head up? Yeah, so blighters. 
Eliminate all the blighters. See the little red dots on the map. Oh, start a fight, guys. Let's do some stabbies. Oh, nice. Use the cane. <laughs> it sounds like it's a, it's a really odd sound. Ugh. But he's dead. Still one more left. Let's go finish him off. Careful on the train tracks, EV. Oh, that final hit around the head. Like the top of the head. Few more guys on the other side. Oh, hello. How you doing? Oh, I just stabbed her right in the chest. It's like a double hidden blade chest pump. Ah, nice. Not bad. Oh, be careful. Gotta try and reach that destination. Jump through. Yep, I don't. Yep, there we go. Slightly reluctant, but good. And then we jump onto the train. So again, like I can't show you the like the car scenes and stuff. But now we're on top of the train. You can literally jump on the train as it goes around the whole map. Which is pretty crazy. We actually own this train as well. Which is like, what? <laughs> it makes no sense. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the little video. I'm excited for Assassin's Creed Syndicate. I was a little bit jaded after the last game. But I'm excited for this one. For sure. I love the whole setting of London. I love the two characters. And I hope you guys enjoyed the gameplay. Hit it with a big thumbs up. And I'll see you guys soon. Bye bye.